Okay, guys and gals, have you got a music room in your house? Yes. What a great piece to hang on a wall, or even a guy's, uh, you know, his special room for collecting. Anyway, it's an old tuba made in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and uh, it's got ivory keys on it. I don't think it's operable, but it's surely lovely. Uh, it is a gorgeous showstopper a, and a lot of yeah. weight. A you don't find them. They keep them. They pass them on. They rebuild them. They don't come on the market very often. Mm -hmm. We got one here. Take yeah. advantage. And what would you say is the approximate age on this? And you, uh, you it's, mentioned it's middle twenty for twentieth century. Yeah. But, but you mentioned where it might have might have been played. Oh, at the Philharmonic uh, Orchestra. Big big point. To That's cover. point. Now there's a man's name soldered onto a tag on this. If somebody wanted to do some research, you might find out if, if he did play in the Philharmonic a Philharmonic Orchestra. A lot of value. So, and that is. Yours for $125 this yeah, show. Um, and right here, nice and close. We want to showcase this because it is the uh, the, the it's the show in June, but it's we're promoting July 4th and Father's Day. Yeah. What is special about this cabinet? Okay, what's special about it was I thought the flag had been put on there currently. It's not. I did a couple of tacks and look back, it's all darker color behind it. So that was no addition on anything currently. And it's a nice little wall cabinet. Darling little cabinet, yeah. you guys. Nice size. But Bob, remember you were going to talk about the number of stars. Oh, well, stripes. yeah. I, you know, I we yeah. found it, and I, I honestly can't remember what we came to, but it was it's not the current star flag. It's not flag. the current star no. flag. It's probably the second, uh, second to last period. Isn't that darling? That can be yours for $115. It's right <laughs> when you walk into Brick and Barn. Don't miss it. Yep. All um, original paint. And you might notice we're, we're quickly skipping over some other historic pieces. That's because we did a video with Bob. Was that video 35? 36, I think. 35, 36? Yeah. Check him out. He'll talk about all those in that video. Coming over here, you guys, I want to showcase this. Bob, tell me about this door. We okay. had two others that sold. We did. We had a pair. They're made of mesquite wood. They're from Mexico. Uh, this one's very unusual because it's got a little inspection door. I think if somebody came to your door and you didn't want them to come in, you might be able to get, peek out and look and see who's there like it's they do today. a little people. A little people. It's yeah. in excellent condition, has the hardware on it, the latches, the hinges, everything is there, and the post that mounts it. Yeah, so the, post, have, the post is over here yep, on your left by right. the old cedar. I believe we have somewhere around 380 on that, 360, 380, somewhere something like that. that. Yeah. Uh, but you can, if, if you it's have any questions. Size. Yeah, it's beautiful, a lot of weight, trust me. I put it up there a couple days ago, right. and it is heavy. It took me and uh, Violet to help out with that. It, it has to be in excess of 100 years old. Yeah, great, great age and and, and, and beautiful piece. Uh, quickly, this was not on our list, but we do love things with the gorgeous lion head. What kind of material is that, Bob? It's, co uh, it's copper with brass lion heads. This is interesting. I've never had one with that large of a lion head on it. Mm -hmm. We've had one with tiny little lion head mm -hmm. hooks, but I think it's a nice piece. And that's a really nice copper. piece. It's only $38, yep. really, really low. Didn't know it was that low. Yeah. Um, but that's great. That's, that's how great. we do things. Um, okay, you guys, we're gonna talk about this. This is $85. This is an antique farrier box. Uh, Bob, do you wanna tell me what that was used for? Yes, the farrier would come to your home. This was a portable toolbox, you might say. There's compartments in there on top. If you put the horseshoes in, nails, and other things you're using in your tools, the uh, farrier would come up to the horse down on the floor and have the hoof up on here, possibly, and work on the horseshoe. Uh, if you uh, have horses and have a favorite farrier coming to your house, what a great piece to pass on to somebody who could appreciate it and display it, because that's the old-time way of doing it. This guy knows. He knows his stuff. A tripod. We had one last month, I believe, and we it's did. sold. Yep. We've got this one here as well. This one is actually more aged. The other one was oak and it was smooth. Right. This one is more distressed. Yeah, it's, it's oak and brass. Mm -hmm. It's adjustable. I believe the tripod was designed for a surveyor's instrument. There we go. Anyway, there we go. Don't know what's happening. Uh, yeah, we'll get it. We got it. We there got we it. Got it. There we go. Uh, the last one we said people could just put a camera on there when they're taking the selfies. The last one was for a camera. This is a surveyor's. This one is sixty-nine dollars. Beautiful. And it has a maker's name on it. I can't tell you what that is right now. And, There's a tag on it. And it's gorgeous. You know what I would do with this? Actually, I would. Uh, put some sort of wire or chain and I would hang a plant down in the middle. You know, I've seen in the new decorator magazines, they're putting lamps 
They're using his spade lamp yes. base. Yeah. Twice I've seen that picture yep. already. Only $69. Yep. I'm going to move well, this tripod. Well, heavy bugger, isn't it? <laughs> over here. Yeah, so you can better. see our showstopper. Yeah, here we go. Bob, let's talk about this. Okay. You can remember if you're old enough, when in a hotel, the bartender or his assistant may come around. Cocktails? With cocktails. Bottles at the bottom, shot glasses up here, <laughs> maybe some lemons. It's on wheels. Uh, it's metal. It's perfect condition, it's I might gorgeous. say, for its age. Look at the handles on the Somebody side. Somebody told me that the Hotel Coronado in San Diego had this type of carts. This was, uh, I can't verify it positively, we, but maybe somebody can. Right. We don't know if it's from there. No. Um, it's a question mark question. from the Dell. Yeah. Uh, but beautiful. It's a San Diego piece bought here locally. Yeah. yeah. But look at that, you guys. Yeah. Peekaboo. Hide your booze from yeah. the kids. And it rolls um, around all kinds of grip. Even a little footrest if somebody wanted to be there with a bar stool next to it. Yeah. And I want yeah. you to see. I want you to see the little pieces there. I want you to see the inlay of wood there. Beautiful, beautiful yep. piece. One of my favorite in the barn this show. And the and top, top is wood too, uh, Right. $152. It can be yours. Yep. That is a steal. I think it's a great deal and it's something that belongs in your house. And we've never seen another one. No, we haven't. No, no. we haven't. Pug. <laughs> Pugalicious. What's happening, Bob? $35. Hug people. Hug people. It's a door stop. Probably used for an outside patio door. It's concrete. It's quite heavy. Mm -hmm. it, it's not just an ornament for the table. It, it's... Hear that? Yeah. Wait. $35 cement door stop. For the uh, pug people. And, and, yep. And he's going after the little Stop. choking hazard. Uh, it's a little, that's $2. Whatever. We know we have pug people. I we do. We do. I want to go south here. Uh, some other nice things that Bob brought in this show. You know, Bob did a fabulous job going out hunting. You know, Bob does not shop at stores or anything like that he goes and he hunts and he really digs he knocks on doors right. and he gets really old pieces most of them that are needing some restoration or a little bit of love yeah. he spends his time and he gets things with a story um bob what is this okay that is a mast light from a sailing ship and when they anchored in port that clear light was at the top of the mast that meant that the ship is at an at a anchor it's got a homemade top and bottom, very old, done in the period. I myself have one almost identical to it. I got to tell you this quick story that I got one as a little boy and I saved it. I could bring it up here and it's a dead ringer to that. Mm, so, okay, nice. And this is $75. Um, this would be great in a man cave. You have a dog yeah. behind you, a dog behind you. Dogs everywhere, Yeah. right behind you. How many, how step how many dog drawers do we have on this? This is $75. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. No, it's fine. Seventy-five yeah. dollars on this, you guys. This would be great in a man cave, Father's Day gift. Sure. Uh, really, really cool. If you have the industrial look going on, which I love, uh, that's a great piece. Which talks, which moves right over here to this industrial piece, Bob. You want to tell me right. about this? Yeah, it's a small. I, I first thought it was a file cabinet, but I don't believe it is. It's for storing small instruments or, or jewelry pieces, stones. I don't know what it's for. It's multiple drawer. I it's would put very like, heavy. It looks almost like uh, dental tools yeah, could fit little, in there. Yeah, or something picks really and fine. Yeah. It's all got padded uh, bottoms on the drawers. So mm -hmm. somebody who's a collector of small objects or tiny tools, I think it's a great thing to have. It's industrial look, which is in now, as we all know. And it's only $48. <laughs> Again, yeah. I didn't know that was so low. Uh, okay, moving on over here. Uh, we've got some fun things. These posts just came in. We're going to sweep over here quickly because uh, Bob has some great things. I don't want to miss this. Um, this is the Sunkissed. Right, yeah. If you Let's can get that under there, that would be, if you can do it. I can do it, Bob. For you. Here we go. What is this, Bob? Okay, this is the end of an orange or a lemon crate. It's a California Sunkiss Company. It was issued, the crate was shipped out in 1909 to the World Exposition uh, Fair. And uh, it survived. The crate did not. The end did. It's never been damaged. It's not a reproduction. It's wonderful. It's signed by the owner of the company. It was a special edition orange crate. Forty-two dollars, and what would be great about this is you give this to somebody if they have an orchard. Oh, wonderful to have! Wouldn't that be a nice yeah. gift? Or somebody who's into yeah. who's from Florida or into oranges or anything sun-kissed. Uh, that would be a great little a great little gift to be in somebody's kitchen. Where I got it, it was not preserved, and I think it should be preserved in a frame or a clear paper over something. 
stream it. Moving on over here, we've got some fun things uh, that we also want to highlight, historic pieces. As you guys know, anything history-related, Bob is your man. All right. Tell me about this, Bob. Okay. <clears throat> we have here, these are grain measures. Uh, this one is unusual because it measures two different amounts of grain or anything else. It would be beans, dried beans, corn, whatever they would sell in a feed and grain store, our store where you shop. Dovetail construction. This easily, one is only uh, eighteen dollars. Yeah, easily uh, eighteen sixty-seven dated. This one is dated. This so, one is old, older than this one. Yeah, though, this right? one's got the date. I wait. It's one... had a lot of repairs. It's dovetailed. It's been repaired. It's wonderful patina, as found. Only washed and cleaned. So why is this one sixty dollars from eighteen sixty-seven? Well, and this one is eighteen dollars. Because this is just nailed together. There's nothing to it, but it's just a square box. It's very old. Round nails, no See? square nails. That's See, that's where the value is. So somebody will ask that question. That, that's the answer to that. And I'm glad I asked it. We have a large one we here We have a large also. one here. This one's 55. Yeah, and that's in the price range. Yeah, very good. Uh, this is a fun thing. This came in at the end of the last show, so a lot of people didn't see it. It actually kind of snuck in here at the very last minute. Eighty-five dollars. They are lamp post brackets. Uh, we have them wired here for safety, but I'm going to let Bob talk about them. Go ahead, Bob. Right. Okay. These were probably used at the entrance to a majestic home where they had a big stone wall or rock wall, and they mounted lights. They hung from here. These went up this way, vertically, and the light was displayed. Huge lantern. You can still buy lanterns to fit that. Uh, there is a slight difference between the pattern on the tube, and I think from left and right side, you're not going to see that. They came off the same house. They 85 were, each. 85 each. That's, mm -hmm. that's why we put them each, mm -hmm. because that's a choice somebody would have. Last thing. There we go. <laughs> My Chewbacca Star Wars painting. So what is the story here, Bob? Well, the customers want to know about this. This painting, the artist that did this painting has a painting displayed in Washington, D.C. in the White House. We do not know who the sitter is. I bought this from a deceased brother-in-law's relative. It was in their house. They forgot to tell anybody anything about it, but I was able to purchase it. Uh, Paul C. Lee. Uh, Paul, Paul C. Paul, C. V. I C. V. Oh yeah, Paul yeah. C. V. is the artist. Yeah. Paul F. C. V. There's three of them. This is the elder. This is the one you want to research. You might find if you can find who the sitter is. Yeah, Chewbacca. look at that dog. Chewbacca. That great? He looks mean, doesn't he? He does. <laughs> um, She's beautiful though. Check out the ring. Yeah. Kind of like mine. Yeah, Bob. <laughs> you guys are twinsies. Twinsies. So anyway, that painting can be yours for $125. Uh, beautiful frame. Right. Do some research. That's Look into it. my favorite part of the painting. Yep. And a great easel as well for $75. Yeah, I'm that easel. That's Iron a wonderful easel. And then we're going to easel. There it is, you guys. I've never had an easel of iron like that. There's your wood. Cobwebs. Yeah. Yep. So, ooh. Whoop. Sorry about that, Janice. <laughs> That's not Janice. No, not, not Janice. <laughs> okay. And on that note, uh, thanks for joining us. We have more stuff to show you. Stay tuned. Don't miss Brick and Barn Show, June 12, 13, 14. If you see anything you like, call us at 760-651-2635. Anything history-related, look for Bob at the show. We'll see you there.